in a previous video, I took a look at a baseball cap. And what was nice about this is that the skipper, the bill, whatever you want to call that thing that sticks out the front, it seems to vary from country to country. But it had a side glow fiber optic sewn onto it. And they'd actually, it's got a thin of plastic that they actually stitch right through it. And at the ends, it had a battery pack and on the end, each end of that fibre, it had a 3mm LED with a little black sleeve holding it in place. And it wasn't that bad, it lit up quite brightly, it looked okay. And I went online and I looked for the side glow fibre optic they used. And I found that the keywords were side glow fibre optic with skirt. And the skirt bit is this little strip here. I don't know, it might vary, it was quite hard to find. But the idea of this stuff is it's sold for vehicles and the joints between the plastic you can press this in. It came with a tool that was basically like a little scraper that you put in and prized it apart and then pressed it in to actually get it along the outline of the vehicle. And you could choose the colour you wanted, you could choose the diameter of the fibre and you could choose the colour of the LED source and it came with this little LED light source and a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter and uh, you basically you stuff the end of the fibre in, you cut part of the fin off the skirt as they seem to call it in some listings and then you just stuff it down the end of this, tighten the little plastic screw up and that's it, it lights. But let me show you this, let me take the exposure off and show you what this looks like in the dark. So I'm just going to take the exposure off. I'm going to lock the exposure again and what you're seeing is a fairly good representation. I would say it peters out round about here. After that, it's very, very dull for the rest, and it does manage to get some light to the other end. Maybe this is just bad stuff, but it's not terribly good. It would be all right if you had short sections of it. Uh, say, for instance, in this case, about 600 millimeters is usable. That's about two feet. Uh, but beyond that, you'd have to, well, even with that, you'd need an LED at both ends. Right, tell you what, I'm going to bring the light back, so watch your eyes. The light is back. So let's take a closer look at the light source anyway. I would say it might have some uses, but uh, they're very niche. Maybe it's just very poor quality stuff. But let's take a look at the light source here. So this actually comes apart. If I unscrew the front of it, it reveals a little lens inside, covering, if I can get that off. Maybe I can't get it off, there it is. What happens if you just shove the fiber optic in without that lens? Would it make any difference? Not really. No. Just as bad. Almost not needed. But here is the LED. It looks fairly bright. Let's uh, tame this down and zoom in. So I can tell you that th there's three LEDs chips in here. It's a little dish with a sort of silicone cover, and this one is uh, called Ice Blue. It's basically got, it's a blue LED with a slight dusting of the white phosphor just to give it that pale pastel blue. It's the same one that the uh, unscrupulous Chinese sellers of germicidal LED lamps, I'm trying to look for one, uh, but it's the ones they pass off as germicidal because it's the same blue as the UVC uh, tubes, uh, but it's that same colour, that's a pastel blue. It's nice enough in its own right. But there's three chips under there, and it starts conducting at round about 7.3 volts. At 12 volts, it's 72 milliamps. At 14 volts, it's 110 milliamps. I'm guessing that it's just a resistor in here. Can I actually just take this apart? It's got a silicon goo at the back of it, so I reckon I might be able to actually just force this out. It'll never work again, but that's all right. That's assuming I can actually get it out. It's a, that sort of brittle silicon. I think it's well sealed in here. But having said that, I'm not really that bothered about taking this to part, unless I can find some fibre to put in it. No, tell you what, uh, I'll just pause momentarily. No, I shall not pause, I shall just start gouging round here and shoving the screwdriver up the end of it to try and get this out. This may just burst it, but you know what, it doesn't really matter. I can always put my own LED up there if I want to use the housing. Uh, do you have anything better for doing this? Maybe not. 
But I tell you what, I'm going to pause because this could take a moment. Well, that was schmooed into the hilt. That was uh, very hard to get out. It turns out that there are two resistors uh, soldered into this LED. And then the LED is pressed into the end in a little sort of recess. And then the whole lot was potted in the silicon. And it's, uh, it really was deeply potted. I think one of the biggest things there was that they'd pressed the LED in with such force that it wasn't coming out. I don't know if they put extra glue around that or it's just the sheer area that uh, it was actually adhered with. But it's out. Um, and it is just basically a little dish. Well, actually, you know what? The, uh, the phosphors actually come out. Almost like a little separate dish, but I'm guessing it's poured in. I don't think this will work anymore. I could try it out. One moment, please. No, I've definitely destroyed it. That's okay. I have no great regrets about that. I didn't like it anyway. Uh, but that, I, I will be keeping this housing because I quite like the housing. And it can be fitted with a, with an alternate LED to suit other applications. But uh, that is more or less it. Do I recommend this stuff well i don't know if it's just a particularly bad batch maybe there's better stuff out there but uh this stuff is rubbish i mean if you just wanted a short section it'd be okay but it's actually almost dimmer than the electroluminescent stuff and that's not saying much i think maybe the future of this stuff would actually be for many applications i'd rather use this sort of rectangular six millimeter uh led neon effect stuff but you know what it was worth uh taking to bits and the light source itself wasn't that bad. I could see this being useful for bundles of fibre optics and things like that. You do get uh, general purpose illuminators with different sized holes, which I think is basically the same thing, but with this hole drilled out to a different diameter. And it would be quite useful for just basically running clusters of fibre optics and things like that. But there we go. That is it. The side glow thing. What uh, else is worth taking apart? This isn't going to be that exciting, is it? It's just basically... It is just going to be, does it have a fuse? Sometimes there's a fuse in here, it does have a fuse. And the rest is just going to be clicky switch. Let's uh, take it to bits for the sake of taking it to bits and see what's inside. Just for completeness. It's just going to come apart easily. Yes, to, oh, it's got a circuit board. It's got a circuit board. Oh, and it's got LEDs under the end. Well, a LED. Um, and a clicky switch, a resistor, and an LED, that's it. So, interesting enough, it's possibly a useful little uh, cigar, cigarette type lighter plug. Uh, but there we go, that is it. I do not recommend this side glow fiber optic stuff because, to be honest, it's not very good. Uh, there are much better options.